in a new release, we allow you to set ranges on numeric entries on forms to validate the data. So here I have an oven check form where I have oven temperature as an example. And there's a couple different ways I can validate this. So one is I can put a minimum and maximum value, uh, absolute value, for example. So like, let's say this is an oven and let's say it should always be between five, 400, 400 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and that'll validate that way. One of the other ways that you could do this though on the product temp is I could say, okay, I want to use a specific value that I set on the part. So like for this particular product I'm running, the value needs to be between 375 and 400, but on this one, it needs to be a different range. And so here I'm choosing field. And then when I go to the field, I can go down to the part, pick one of my custom fields that has the data in it, like lower temp for the minimum and upper temp for the maximum right here. Okay. I'll save that. And now it's going to validate on that. So if I click save here and I go over to my oven, so the bakery inside of Kansas city, here's my oven and I'm running the blueberry granola product where I've set this temperature range for the product temp. So I'm going to do my oven check and let's say I put the oven temp in as, as uh, 40 instead of 400 because I accidentally mistyped. And then my product temp is like zero because again, I, I typed the wrong thing. And I hit submit, you can see here that oven temp must be greater than or equal to 400 and this must be greater than or equal to 350. So if I do this as 400 and then this one, um, we're gonna do uh, 375 and I hit submit. And now it accepted it. So it's a great way to make sure that your data is accurate uh, inside of the system um, when people are entering information and they can't accidentally fat finger something.